Even if you've been getting by with your smartphone for day-to-day -day snapshots, you may want to pick up a dedicated camera. And good news, they're better than they've ever been, and in a lot of cases, really reasonably priced. We've reviewed dozens of cameras this year, and these are our best picks for 2015. So the best camera we tested this year was the Sony a7R II. If you haven't gone shopping for cameras in a few years, the specs are kind of mind-blowing. It's a full-frame camera, it's got 42 megapixels, which is tons of detail, tons of resolution. It also shoots 4K video, and you get all that in a package that's under two pounds when you don't have a lens on. It's a little pricey, it's over $3,000, so it's definitely more in the enthusiast, high-end crowd. In general, you're getting a fantastic camera. It's one of the best combinations of price and performance that we've seen in some time. Now, if you don't have $3,000, which is most of us, and you still want to get a really good camera, Panasonic's G7 is a great place to look. 800 bucks with a lens, takes great images, it's really fast, it's got a really nice design with a viewfinder, and again, you know, 800 bucks for this plus a lens gets you off to a great start. Now, if a more traditional DSLR, like Nikon and Canon, is what you're thinking, the Nikon D5500 is a great option. Also under a thousand bucks, it's got a good size, it's not too small, not too big, not too heavy. It doesn't have 4K, but it does have HD video, it's got a touchscreen. So it's a good all-around option for someone who really likes the idea of getting into Nikon's lens system, having access to their customer service, and sort of that famous Nikon look and feel. Now, if you don't want to mess with interchangeable lenses, the best option that we found this year for a point-and-shoot that'll fit in your pocket is Sony's RX100 IV. Um, it's got a nice big one-inch sensor, which is way bigger than the one that's in your smartphone, and that means better low-light image quality, better images in general. It's pricey, so it's about $1,000 MSRP. That'll come down with sales and stuff. And there are older versions of the RX100 that are a little bit cheaper and nearly as good. Now remember, this is just a few of the best cameras that we've reviewed this year out of dozens. So if you want to find a camera that's perfect just for you, head on over to review.com and check out all of our camera reviews.